Let's go ahead and learn how to use constructors within a class. A constructor is just a special method that is used when we want to create an object. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new project. And we're going to make sure it's Visual C Sharp and a console.net application. And I'll call this project construct me. I'll click OK. Now remember, when you go and create an object from a class, you have to specify the data type, a variable name, and then you call new, and then the class name, parentheses, parentheses. That class name with the parentheses, parentheses, is a method call. It's just, it's a special method. It has the same name as the class. And when a method has the same name as the class, it's called a constructor. And it's automatically called by C Sharp when you try to create a brand new object. So let's create a brand new class by right mouse, right mouse clicking on the project. We'll click Add class and let's just call this student student and here's my class and I'm just going to come into this class and I'm going to make a private variable for the student name and it's going to be of type string and we'll go ahead and create a uh, getter and setter for it remember those are methods so we'll say public void set name, and it will receive a parameter, we'll just call it s value, I could call it anything I wanted, and then we'll say uh, student name is equal to s value. So when this method is called, you'll, it'll receive a value from the call itself, like when the developer writes the source code to call this method, the developer will pass a value, that value will go into here, which will then be assigned to the attribute. That's called a setter. Here is a getter. Public string get name. We don't receive anything. You could if you wanted to. And the whole purpose of this is to receive or to return the student name. Now the reason we do this is because that attribute student name is private. So it's only visible inside of this class. There's no other way to get to it. Let's go ahead and create one more private attribute. Call it age and we'll give it type int, but we're not going to change or write the getters and setters for it. Now that we have this class created for us, I could come back over to here and I could create a variable of type student. I'll call it O student equals new student. And remember that's that allows us to create a brand new student object and store it to that variable. Well, this part right here, that says call a method. That method is a special method because it has a parenthesis parenthesis on it. And it's special because of the name student, which is the same name as the class. If you ever see a method call, you know it's a method call when there's parentheses on it. If you ever see a method call with the same name as the class, then you know that that method is a constructor. And its whole job is to help you make an object. Or in other words, it is called when the object is called. So I could go ahead and work with that new object and say, oh, student dot set name, parenthesis, Greg, and that would now come over to the class and the method. It would say, pass Greg to that parameter and take that parameter and assign it to the attribute. But what if I wanted to go ahead and initialize both of these attributes, both of those properties, when I first create the object? Currently, when I create the object, I don't pass anything to it. I just say create the object, call the constructor, call the method called student, and make the object. Now, if you come over to the class, I don't see a method called student. But by default, every class that you make has its own public method Oops. that ju looks just like that. And it simply says, call this method when you create the object. Now, what does this method do? It doesn't really do anything except it is accessed when you create the object. That means that if that happens by default, I could write my own constructors. 
that I could call when I make the object. One thing you need to realize is that on a constructor, you don't worry about a return type. If I add the word void, this says, wait, you can't do that. You can't have a constructor and have return types in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just specify the scope of that constructor. And do I even need to put the, the scope in a constructor? So when working with constructors, we have the following. We have what they call a default constructor. And that says it's a method with the same name as the class, but it doesn't have anything coming into it as parameters. And that's created for you automatically by C Sharp until you go and write your own constructor. So I could say public student, parenthesis, string, S value. And then I could say student name equals S value. This now says I have another constructor that receives one parameter. So when I create the object, it's looking to pass the parameter to it. So back over to here, I could have created another object, and let's call it O student 2. And this time I could have passed it a value. And then when it comes over and it tries to find the right constructor to use, it says, are there any parameters? On this one it says no. So it uses the default constructor. On this one it says yes, there's a string parameter. Sorry about the sounds. There's a string parameter. And so it says, I want to use that constructor. So what's the whole purpose of that? This allows me to create an object, and while I'm creating the object, instead of having to call methods later on, if I already know all of that information, I could go ahead and load up as much information as I can with the constructor just by passing it. I could come back over to here and make another constructor. And this constructor maybe receives two values, int, inum, and we could say the age attribute is equal to inum. So now when I go and create the object, I have another way to make it because I could have said, make another object, and in this case, let's pass it two values. And so now when it hits this line, it says, which constructor do I need to use? I need to find a constructor that has two parameters. The first parameter is a string, the second one's an int. And it comes over to here and it says, no, no, yes, you're the one I want to use. And so it's just a way that when I create the object, and I can go ahead and load up values into that object. Now let's take a look at one more thing. By default, I said here is your constructor that C Sharp makes for you. It doesn't receive any parameters. And I went ahead and typed it over here to see what it would look like. Let's see what would happen if I delete that. I said C Sharp does that for you automatically. When you create a class, if you don't have any constructors written, C Sharp automatically makes a constructor for you, the default constructor. Now take a look at our source code over here. It says, you know what? You don't have that anymore. You don't have that, that constructor. And so what it tells me is, once you start writing your own constructors in the class, C Sharp says, fine, I'm not going to help you at all. And it does not create a default constructor anymore. So if you want that default constructor, then you have to go and write one in the class. And remember, the default constructor is used if you just want to make an object, but you don't want to do anything else with any of the attributes. You just load up the attributes. The nice thing about these others is I could do anything I want now. I'm loading up properties. I could call other methods. I could load up other objects. I could do anything I want. So the whole purpose of a constructor is it's a special method with the same name as the class, and it allows you to pass parameters to it and do some work. By the way, one other thing on constructors, I would make the scope public but they don't have to be public. You could also make them private or static.
but in our case with all the programs we're going to use in our videos we're going to leave, leave them public so that other developers using our classes can access those constructors also remember there is no return type and you don't use the word return in the constructor and that's what constructors are for making objects